Hello everyone, this is Alex of Blue Man, and welcome to another hour's worth of Red Dead 2. We last left off, Arthur here had to help a man named Captain Monroe, or simply Mr. Mon Monroe from now on, because the ranger force that he is in betrayed him. They think, they charged him because they think he was doing treason, and we had to rescue him and get him out of there, and now he's just on the run. Now, with that little part of the story out of the way, right now I'm going to do another mission with with Sadie. Ugh. Like I said, I don't know why. Like, I'm, like, I want to like this character. I really do. It's just her voice can at times annoy me. Like, half of the time, she talks as if she smoked a lot of cigarettes. Want to like this character, I really do. It's just the way she talks that bother me. That's all I want to say. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Ah, uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are going to disguise ourselves in this, in this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. Keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis suits you. Hm. I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. I like to think of this mission as justice for Kieran. Look here, don't the public love an execution? Kieran didn't deserve that. So, for me personally, this is Calm's eternal punishment for that. Hey, we're gonna wait. Hmm. All right. Good. Now. You see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes someone. Stay here. Don't do nothing. 
Yeah, Sadie. Don't do anything stupid. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. And if that doesn't turn things back to normal, then at least it's one less enemy Let's gone. Go. shooting we have to have our wits about us and move fast yeah i guess we faced worse than this before sure get to it yeah so they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building maybe and get him and do it silently well obviously i'm gonna do it silently i want to see this bastard swing Oh, I don't know. I guess to... I guess to way ahead of you? Ooh. Messed that up. Come on. There's a good girl. Finally. Okay, now for the Now for the for this rifle. So I'm guessing I'm going to make sure that basically I'm just here seeing if the execution is going to go smoothly and according to the enforcement's plan. I've been a bad man. Silence. These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Jeez! My goodness, Sadie! Darn it, I was too late to save that guy.
Come on. Poke your head out. Oh, well, there's one more. Well, what a mess that turned out to be. Still, at least Calm is out of the way. That's one less problem to deal with for the rest of the game. To me, at least. How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free goodbye Mary Mary <sighs> A very heartbreaking letter. Well, if I was Arthur, I would say that I would say to her that her safety is more important. And I would be glad that she is safe somewhere out there. Third time lucky. Come, trophy earn. Okay. We got another, let's see, one out of 30, let's see, find Calm's backup within 45 seconds and get eight headshots within a long, great long scope rifle, complete within six minutes and 30 seconds. Well, at least I've got one out of three right, so that's better than nothing. Goodbye, dear friend, with blah, blah, blah. 
All right. So right now I have unlocked yet another mission. I need to check where this is. Eagle flies. But unfortunately it is too far away. So uh, gonna have to do a mission with Micah. I stink dislike Micah. He's a he's a big fat jerk. Don't you have anything warmer to put on? Arthur. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind. I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. And also an ally, Abigail. Don't forget that. I think that Arthur needs yet another shave, so I'm going to take a quick break and give him one. This is the con this is the level of facial hair I like Arthur to have. Like he looks too weird with a shaved when when he is completely shaved, but also um a little unrecognizable with a full on beard, so So facial hair like this is how I is how I suited for Arthur. So let me see. Crafting upgrades. Very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right material. Hmm. Crafting recipes. Unfortunately, I don't have much to upgrade the satchel with. Arthur's lodging. Didn't know I could do this, all of this. So, unfortunately, I'm already... Like, almost done with the story. So I'm gonna have to... So I'm gonna have to, um... Gonna have to continue on with the story from here. We're finally here, into this old house golden something found another plant hello mr micah ah there he is old black lung morgan shut up was you followed excuse me was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. 
You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? I bet, like, if anyone hating Micah, then that level of hate is pretty much the equivalent of this character Ramsay Bolton from Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, I hardly bet that level of hate is both those levels of hate are on equal terms. But at least in this mission, I don't have to do this with Micah, with another with another character that is Bill. Well, maybe I have, because at least I have a soul, Bill. What about you? Okay. Let's hold up here. Hold! So, wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely. It'll never get done. So, I was thinking. You go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs> Get into position. I don't know how to do that though because it's pretty high up. It's a burned down building. Oh. How do I get in there? Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. You were spotted. Okay, we try. To be fair, I did not get to the get on top of that old building in time, so that's my fault. Wait for Bill to attack. hilarious okay I've got another okay get on the wagon at least that's a as a successful mission. Firstly, I want to firstly I want to see what these guys have. Come on, we need to get out of here. No, I didn't mean to pick up. I mean, I mean loot. Come 
I'm trying to, I'll... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Shoot them, Arthur, before they blow us to hot. We need to see what they are. We're leading them right back to camp. What do you think of them? I should have got a repeater. My goodness. Of course, wanted for vehicle theft. Up ahead. 
Why do you have to complain so much? My goodness. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Delights of Van Horn. Well, that's another mission complete. And thank goodness that my horse is now here. Let's see. Headshot five soldiers with a long scope rifle and complete with at least 85% accuracy. Hmm. Fortunately, I did not do both of that. Or any of that for that matter. So that's... Two more missions down, and we have unlocked two more with with Sadie and with Eagle Flies. This one's obviously closer, so I will do that next. But unfortunately, this is the time that I this is all the time that I have for this video. But still, every day I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to how this will end. Fortunately, my my honor meter is down, but at least it's it's still high. So I just want to keep it up by the time the game ends, because from what I've heard, this game has multiple endings, and I want to ch I want to have a good one with the high honor. So, like I said, all the time that I have for this video, and I hope to start a new mission next time. So thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching. Don't forget to like this video and I hope you all have a great blurific day.